What's up you guys? It's Lexi. It's been quite a bit of time since I last talked to you, which I'm gonna get into at the end of the video. But I want to talk about a few other things first. Beauty, fashion related, food related, and I have this series that I've had on my channel for the past like year or two. And it's called The Weird Series, which is my version of a favorites video. It's just a bus. Weird is an acronym that stands for what I've been wearing, eating, impressed by, reading, downloading, and doing. It's a nice opportunity to talk about a variety of things that I've been interested in. And the first one is wearing, so we'll talk about that. I got a new bag. I got it on my birthday. That was the first reason I missed an upload. Subsequently, when your birthday falls on a Thursday, somehow the whole weekend becomes your birthday. But this is by the brand Cara, and it's a flower bucket bag, and it's basically the edgiest flower bucket that exists. Look at the top. All right, just to get like the detailing. And it has this silver hardware detail, which is completely aesthetic based. There's no flat board on the other side. But I really like the size of this handle. It fits around here comfortably. Also fits on the crook of your arm very comfortably. And then it comes with a long strap as well. And once again, the length of this long strap is another thing that sold me. And this is once again, a lot more masculine than then your average purse strap, it almost looks like a seat belt. And then the inside of the bag is just one big lump sum that you can dump it. What? But you can just dump stuff in it and you can snap it and carry it around like it's all together. The next thing I've been wearing a ton of is gym clothes. I have been going to the gym. You probably can't tell because I don't really have that many like physical effects yet, but here, trying to go four times a week forever <laughs> that's like I'm trying to stay trying to stay active four times a week forever because if you're someone who's ever dealt with mental illness I have a tendency to fall into depression I've dealt with that on and off throughout my life and that is definitely something that helps me but I've changed the way that I work out um, I've never approached the gym this way before and it's really working for me I'm not following anything I'm just doing my own thing but I love it basically I have just like a few little secrets and tricks that I've, I've found that work for me now bringing this back to the W for wearing workout clothes I have I like wearing little outfits I like wearing matching two pieces same with just my normal everyday clothes I really like outfits I like a matching top and bottom like I want this to have like a matching red mini skirt you feel me like I want something like that Okay, but I want that for workout gear. So if you know where to get affordable workout gear, the thing is I want to buy a ton of it because I don't do my laundry that often because I don't have a washer and dryer I'm building. So I don't want to have to be washing these clothes a lot. So affordable, well, well functioning, cute workout clothes, if you know where to get those, you want to help me out? I'm going through a heavy Mexican food phase at the moment. I live on a corner building by a police station, so that's not the best for filming, but what can you do? I live where I live. Which, speaking of, I want to do an apartment tour. My friend Alex, I went to go visit her at Mary Washington, if anyone lives in Virginia. And let me call her real quick, because we went to a bomb Mexican restaurant, and we had tamales and margaritas. Alex! Hey, Mama. Okay, you're on film. I'm talking about Mexican food and my favorite Mexican <laughs> restaurants. The name is Pueblo's Tex-Mex Grill. It's off of Jeff Davis Highway. It is in Fred Vegas, Virginia, 22401. Best tamales you will have in your whole life. I went to high school pretty much in Mexico. <laughs> and I'm telling you, <laughs> it's east of the Mississippi and it's still better. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much. You heard it here first. Or go to Uncle Julio's. They have the best queso dip in the whole world. It's fun restaurant they have a lot of cool activity based menu items which is always fun if you're going with a friend you haven't seen in a while or like a family celebratory dinner or something like that if you live in New York City go to Otto's Tacos get two tacos get the carnitas and the corn fritter so good also um what's that one there's one in the East Village called like Diana Diane Taqueria something like that bomb nachos so good and then if you're making it at home I keep it simple, but <laughs> I probably have this meal like four to seven times a week where I take a tortilla. I personally would always choose flour over corn. I don't think corn is the move ever. However, I saw these at the generic like grocery store near me and they were only a dollar and you got so many of them and they were blue corn tortillas. And I think because they were blue, I was attracted to them, but they're terrible. Like these are really bad and I wanna compare them to my new favorite tortilla. So like I said, if it's between flour or corn, I'm always choosing flour. But then I tried out these No Better Wraps 
from No Foods. And these are wraps that I was super hesitant to try. I was like, these are not gonna be that good because they're marketed as really healthy, made with superfoods. So they're made with almonds, coconuts, egg whites, flaxseed, chia seed, and they're, you know, classic to any sort of health food like grain free, gluten free, wheat free, non GMO, dairy free, peanut free, soy free, yeast free, zero cholesterol, and zero trans fats. So you think to yourself, like, how could this possibly be good? But I kid you not, with like just some basic refried beans and um, some rice, I'm making a mess. Oh, I hate crumbs, especially in my bedroom. I do not like eating in my bedroom. I think it's disgusting. Okay, so these ones are way fluffier than like your average corn tortilla. And these ones almost taste sweet. <laughs> I feel like a freak right now. But we're just to the part of what I've been eating recently. And I feel like particularly passionate about these tortillas. So I'm gonna tell you about them. Um, they're nice and fluffy and slightly sweet. Not sweet in a way that you couldn't eat it with rice and beans and it would take away, but it adds something. It adds a subtle sweetness that you just, you appreciate. And the texture is really nice too. And then I just put brown rice on it and these are the fat-free refried beans from Trader Joe's. Dip it in salsa verde and Cholula. Lunch, dinner, I eat that meal all the time. I just came out of an Italian food phase, was pretty deep into that, but it was weak because all I was really eating was penne with marinara, maybe a glass of wine if that was feeling fun. But now we're deep into Mexican food, so that's what I've been eating recently. Definitely check out these tortillas, definitely check out these restaurants. <laughs> the first thing I've been impressed by is a serum by Glossier, it's called Super Pure. And I don't know if I mentioned this before in a video, but if you have like little pimples, like tiny little bumps, um, not like cystic pimples, but like the little tiny bumps, I would really recommend the Glossier Super Pure Serum. It does such a wonderful job in just helping it overnight, pat it into your skin like this. I started using it in December, went on vacation with my friend and her and I were using this every single night and we were obsessed. Like we straight up talked about how great it was every single night when we were putting it on. We're like, this stuff is a miracle product. Like it's so good. How does it work so well? And I'm all out of it. I don't have skin, I don't have skin on right now. I don't have makeup on right now because I'm trying to wait it out as long as possible. I got a facial yesterday at Enhance Aesthetics. I got the Hydra facial, which, oh my goodness, look at my skin. Like, they did such a great job. Kayla at Enhance Aesthetics, if you, it's in Gramercy Park. I think your first one is only $90, which I was calling around at a bunch of different places and they were mostly averaging between two even 350 at one place I called. I want my skin to look like this as long as possible. I'm definitely gonna go back in for another one. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Also, two other products. This has been a tried and true that I've used on and off since high school and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I love it because it it's so liquidy. So you don't even really need to apply it with a sponge. I just put it on my fingers and I lightly rub it into my face like this and it evens out my skin tone cover up previous scars discoloration it's a little heavier than a tinted moisturizer but it's not as heavy as your average foundation so i really like this and then if you're just trying to look a little tan and not necessarily wear foundation whatsoever i don't know how i never knew that this existed but this is the jergens natural glow for your face did you know they have a face one because I don't love the body one, to be honest. Um, I think you look kind of orange, so I was a little hesitant to use this one. And I honestly really like it. Like, I've been really impressed by all three of these. And these two are drugstore products. Are what I've been reading. Audible's kind of my go-to for reading because as much as I love to sit down and read a book, especially being a student full-time, it's, it's hard to find time to physically sit down and read. But if you're listening to a book, you can do that while you're walking to class, driving to work, walking or running on the treadmill you know there's there's a multitasking factor to it which is really nice because you can consume whatever media you want while also not having to exclusively set aside time for that and audible is giving today's listeners a 30-day free membership as well as your first book free if you go to audible.com slash lexi l-e-x-i-e or for us viewers if you text lexi to 500 500 and they have any book that you ever want, like whatever you you want to be, whatever you want to learn if you're trying to get a self-help book, if you're trying to dive deep into a fiction fantasy. I'm kind of in between two books right now. So I just finished The Vagina Monologues, which is a quite uh, blunt female empowerment listen. It's quite short. I believe it was only, 
it's not even an hour. The author is Eve Ensler. She conducted interviews with all different types of women, all different types of backgrounds, all different types of ages, and basically interviewed them on their lady parts and got their opinions on it. And although I personally don't think I would have participated in, in an interview like that, it was very comforting to hear people's interactions with themselves. The one I found the most interesting was this woman who I can't, she might have been in her 60s, maybe 70s, and she had never seen herself. And I just, that was wild to me. Um, on a different sector, if you're trying to learn about money, I also have been listening to You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. If you are someone who thinks that money is the devil, or you're afraid of being broke, or you are broke and you feel like you're never gonna make money, it's very easy to listen to and I would recommend it. I would give it a try if I were you because she's a very casual author, very conversational, and she expresses her own doubts and how she overcame them. Once again, similar to the, the first recommendation stories are like medicine. I think that's why books are so nice. If you've never tried it before, Audible has every book that you want, like you name it. If you want a spirituality based book, I have a ton of Thich Nhat Hanh books that I've gotten on here and you can use my code. Go to audible.com slash Lexi and for the US viewers, text Lexi to 500 500 and they'll teach you how to set it up and you'll get your 30 day free membership and your first book free courtesy of me. I would love for you to try it. Let me know down below what book you choose as your free book so then I can get some recommendations of my own. Downloading, let's get to that. Are you ready? So I found this crazy obscure app and I've been completely over the moon obsessed with it and I use it every single day and it is called Twitter. Here I am, I'm a superficial person of depth and then I tagged my Instagram because my Instagram and Twitter are the same. Lexi, L-E-X-I-E. I just think it's great. What are some good tweets? I overheard someone outside say, yo, society's like one big group chat. I was like, what? That's so stupid. We have this really hot landscaper that works for my parents that I like had a crush on and he apparently like asked my mom if like I was home. So that's a little thing. I tweet a lot of pictures that don't make it to Instagram. I feel like more comedy and news go on Twitter, whereas more art and fashion go on Instagram. So if you want, I have two Instagram accounts. I have my personal account and then I have my graphic design and outfit account. I have Lexi, Cherry Hoops, and then Lexi on Twitter and then Lexi on YouTube. We got it all. What I've been doing, for starters, school has been taking the highest priority. I feel like I'm thinking, living, breathing school 100% of the time, and 90% of the time, if I'm being honest. <laughs> However, my birthday was March 15th, so that fell on a Thursday, and I ended up having such a nice birthday. My friend came over, we hung out, just drank coffee, cuddled, ate cookies, and then went over to get bagels, hung out at the park, walked around the city, went shopping and I went out for cookie dough and then woke up at 4.45 the next morning, met up with my friends and we drove to the Catskills and went skiing and snowboarding for the weekend and that was so much fun. Fun fact about me, not that fun, but like fact about me, I absolutely love skiing. I don't go enough for me to actually own my own pair of skis or anything, but every, every single time I make it on top of a mountain, I'm reminded how it's like one of my favorite hobbies. I really wish I got to go more, and so it was a great way to spend my birthday. And then got back for St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day was wild, so I went to Dessert Goals, which is a convention in Long Island, and all of like the little fancy cutesy dessert places get together and have a little convention where you can just go around shopping and tasting. And I went with my roommate, who I haven't introduced you to yet. Her name is also Lexi, how funny is that? So St. Patrick's Day, we leave Long Island, we head to Midtown, look at the parade. I get distracted because I see in Microsoft that there's a virtual reality roller coaster. So I do that. And then we're walking along the parade and everyone's just drinking, partying, and we're like, we should be here. Like, why are we doing this? So we decide, all right, like, let's go out tonight. And my friend from London was coming in town. Now I know it's just like I'm getting into ambiguous details. But some of you really do follow. And like, you saw that I went to London and my friend Eamon, he's the one who looks like a prince, he came to visit. And so the three of us were gonna go out. And then my other friend calls me and he's like, what are you up to tonight? And I was like, oh, it's St. Patrick's Day, we're going out. He ends up showing with two other people. One's his friend, I thought they were both his friends. Turns out the third guy was just a complete stranger that he had met earlier on in the day. Ended up passing out outside of the bar, falling, hitting his head on a cup, cracked his head open, and we had to call the ambulance and he had to leave. And that was super traumatic and unexpected for the night. And then the following week was my spring break. So I spent Monday through Wednesday just 
school, 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 taking breaks by watching Wes Anderson movies. It was like, school, Moonrise Kingdom, school, Royal Tenenbaums, school, Moonrise Kingdom again, school, Royal Tenenbaums, like I was just going back and forth and I was like, all right, let's throw in Steve Zissou, like let's go. <laughs> and I just like had them on replay until I had finished up my work and then I went down to Fredericksburg, visited my friend Alex, who is one of my childhood best friends, went to James Madison University to visit some other friends. So it was my birthday to schoolwork, to out of town, back to school, and then I went, oh, it was Easter. I was like, why didn't I film the next weekend? I went out of town again, came back to New York City, went to class this week, went to the Dream Machine in Brooklyn if you're interested in getting some super good Instagram pictures, go to Dream Machine. I think it's only gonna be here for like a few months. And now I unfortunately think I'm gonna put on makeup tonight. I really don't want to though. I'm going to see Laura tonight with my friend. On school right now, I'm working on building two different books. I'm rebranding a restaurant, painting a portrait, as well as teaching myself the software. So if any of those things are of interest to you, I'm not bringing it up to like list my homework. I'm bringing it up because I've been requested to do like study with me, which I know how that sounds. I hear myself say that, but I would watch someone who goes to Parsons. I would watch them do their homework. I would be curious about that. So I get it that there might be like a niche audience for that. So I kind of want to try out one of those videos. I've mentioned this before and I've heard that like you do want to see it, but I also just I don't know. It's like a new thing. I would have to try it out and see how it works. So right now it's Friday and this video is going to go up next Sunday, the 15th. So have I really gone a month without uploading? Okay. I'm really sorry if I went a month without uploading. I also want to do an apartment tour. I want to do some more outfit videos. I want to vlog a little bit. I don't want to be a vlogger, but I do want to vlog a little bit. So that's other things coming up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm and comment the book that you download from Audible and uh, subscribe for more videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next Sunday with another video. Until then, I don't know, up to you. Your time, not mine. Love you. Bye. Game. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> <laughs> you mean innuendo?